each evening from December to December. Before you drift to sleep upon your cot, think back on all the tales that you remember of Camelot. You're playing the most iconic woman in American history. How did it come to that and how do you feel like that you got that? It was very daunting to take on a character who was so well known. Um, people know so much what she looks like and what she sounded like. Um, that you want to achieve that level of believability, of course, before you take them on an emotional journey, which hopefully the film is. So um, I was lucky to have a lot of, there's a lot of video of her, so I, I really was able to watch her a lot and study her a lot. You look amazing in the film. I Thank mean, you. you really, really do. It's incredible. Thank um, you. When you saw yourself the first time, what went through your mind? Well, you know, I was nervous because I don't exactly look like Jackie to begin with. I have, you know, the same coloring, but apart from that, it's not, um, it's not like people have ever told me that I resembled her. Mm -hmm. um, so when I put on the, when I had the hair and the makeup and the wardrobe for the first time and I looked at myself, all of those things helped me feel like, okay, this will help me be believable that I, I can approach even the first time you see her, that it, it, you know, it approaches something that, that is familiar to an audience. Every person, if he's heard the story, and tell it strong and clear if he has not, that once there was a fleet... People like to believe in fairy tales. Let it be forgot. You definitely made, definitely did it for Thank sure. You. How did you prepare yourself for this? Like, what an emo um, emotional journey. I mean, you know, with all the loss she had. I mean, she lost everything, like the house, her career, her future, her everything. How did you prepare yourself for that? Do you get therapy for something like that to get into that and then obviously to snap out of it afterwards again? Well, you know, there's a lot of imagination involved, of course, in playing any sure. human being and in just wondering what their emotions are like. And this, I had more clues because there's so many biographies, there's so many interviews she did even after the assassination um, where you can get a sense of what she went through. And, you know, there's letters that have been released now of talking about her, her conversations with her priest and things like that. So there were a lot of clues. And, um, and I don't have a, a very hard time differentiating between my role mm -hmm. and my life. Like, I feel like it's very, um, you know, easy for me to leave work at work and go back to my life at the end of the day. Jackie said, I didn't want to be famous. I became a Kennedy. Right. Can you relate to that as an actress and in the spotlight kind of thing? Yeah, that, that sometimes, you know, you do things out of love. You know, I, I love what I do. I love acting. I love... Um, the experience of imagining other lives and um, and yes, there's this sort of uh, side effect of, of fame that comes along with it and then um, that completely affects your life and of course I don't experience fame on the same level as Jackie did. I can't mm -hmm. compare it but um, she's very, really one of the most well-known people of all time. Um, but, you know, you can have a glimpse of, of what that, that means. Do you think, um, you know, with the spotlight we're talking, like, um, do you think it's worth now with, like, all, you know, like, being so accessible to everybody, you know, with everybody they doesn't just want an autograph from you, they want, like, they want to take a picture of you. Do you think it's, like, it's, it's much harder than it was? I don't... It's hard to compare something that you mm -hmm. don't know personally. I don't think it's necessarily harder. I just think it's different. Um, because also it's a lot more, because there's so much out there, there's a lot more people who are well known. You know, there's YouTube stars and fashion stars and, you know, all of these people that people have access to. So it's not necessarily um, more difficult, I think, to mm. today, you know, than, than before. I think it's always been, a, um, you know, probably a, a surreal experience to 
be treated as anything different than just a regular person. You were just mentioning the conversation with the priest, and that really stuck out to me. Um, but he was saying, like, when you um, search for something and you don't have the answer anymore, you give up. Have you ever come to something like that in your own life, in the crossroad, where you are like, all right, I just need to, like, move on and do something else? Um, I think the the scenes with the priest are very moving because the priest himself, played by the great John Hurt, doesn't pretend to have answers. He is quite frank about being at a loss for answers himself sometimes. And and of course, I think as people, we that's something we all experience is is um, questioning and questioning and not not finding the answers and um, having to make that decision of. Mm -hmm. of whether we're just going to continue or not. Brief, shining moment. There was a Camelot.